Highest ex excitement uh, seems to be lately uh, um, regarding psychedelics. All right. Plant, plant teacher, yes. teachers. Yes. yes. And I am curious about the uh, big picture on ayahuasca yes. and DMT and, yes. the, and the difference uh, thereof. Well, they are guides and specific frequencies to allow you to experience altered states that give you an understanding of what kind of vibrational states you can come from in life, what kind of vibrational states you can recreate within yourself without necessarily requiring the teacher of the plant all the time. They are opportunities to be able to hone your senses, to be more able to perceive things that were heretofore invisible that are all around you all the time, to allow your senses to peer into other dimensions and begin to break down the veils and the barriers between what you consider to be physical reality and other levels of dimensional reality. That's what they're there to do, to remind you of your connection to source, your connection to spirit, to allow you to function more holistically as a human being, as a part of nature, an expression of nature on the earth, and to allow you to perceive that you are connected to much more than you may think. But once they teach you this, the idea is also that you don't really need them any longer and that you can recreate those states within yourself anytime you so desire. Awesome. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, well put. <laughs> any... Uh, Way to sum up. Any, any, danger, any danger I should be aware of while uh, using The this? only idea you might consider to be dangerous, which isn't really, is that you have to be prepared to face whatever it is they are going to show you about yourself and any fears you may be harboring. But it's not really dangerous. It might just feel like a wild ride. Mm -hmm. 